Hello, everyone. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I hope that everyone is well and healthy. Um, and thank you very much for joining with me today. Um, my name is Eric Carlson. I'm a platform sales director with Ground Truth, based in the New York office, today speaking to you from the lovely confines of New Jersey. So today we're going to talk about um, the census, congressional districts, and also taxes, the big three. I'll uh, talk a little bit first about Ground Truth and a uh, quick overview on ground truth, what makes ground truth unique in the marketplace, some of the interesting tactics that can be utilized. And we'll jump into the US Census, district, congressional district targeting, US and the tax season as well. Uh, with each one, start a little bit broader, talking about some of the um, opportunities that do exist from a marketing standpoint with each, and then driving down a little bit more granular and getting into some of the tactics that can actually be utilized on ground truth to take advantage of those as well. Um, we should have time at the end for some Q&A, so please feel free to, uh, to ask questions as we go and we can address those at the end. Um, a little bit of housekeeping to start with. First, all of you are muted, except for me. Questions are submitted through the Q&A button, which you'll see and we'll address those at the end. Um, for any other questions that come up, any follow-ups, things like that, uh, you can reach out a couple different sources. One is to self-serve help at groundtruth.com. You can also, if you have a point of contact already at Ground Truth, you can always feel free to reach out to them to ask additional questions and get more information. This also will be available to you after uh, the webinar today, so you'll have access to these slides as well. And also, we always request that you fill out a post-webinar survey at the end uh, for two reasons. One, it helps us refine the content itself that we're doing if there's certain areas um, that you would like us to talk about, for example, broader topics or more granular within the presentation itself. If there's something that you think would be valuable to touch on, we're always happy to do that as well. So we always value your input and your opinions about that. So, whoops, wrong direction, I'm sorry. So quickly about Ground Truth. Ground Truth's been around for 11 years. Some of the key elements to Ground Truth is that we reach two out of three mobile users on a monthly basis. And currently what we do is reach people in mobile apps. Um, we're also rolling out CTV and OTT this month, and that's gonna be available uh, at the first of June on the platform as well. So we're really excited about that. And we're also tracking 20 billion unique visits on an annual basis. And I'll show you how we do that with our technology called Blueprinting. One of the things that makes us unique in the marketplace as well is we just received our 2020 accuracy rating uh, from Numerator. This is a third party, ver ver um, ver I can't say the word, that we have of our um, validation, thank you, of our accuracy that we do every year. And in 2019, we had a 94% accuracy rating. For 2020, it's now 96, actually 96.4%. So without accuracy, location really has little value. So we're really excited to get that score for 2020. People often ask as well, what do some of the competitors in the marketplace, how do they rank? What are their scores? Fantastic question. We don't know because we're the only ones that actually go through this validation every year. So uh, it remains a mystery, but uh, we're excited to know that we're at over 96%. Now, I'd mentioned blueprinting as our technology and how do we do this? So this is an example. We'll say that the green area represents a Walmart for this example. What we do is we're gonna create an actual physical outline of, that, of the store itself, of the actual building. Then we'll do, we'll do three layers of the blueprints. Then we'll do on lot, which would be the parking lot, and then a retail area. Sometimes say there are pedestrian areas, walkways, things like that. We would wanna capture that in the third layer. So when it comes to actually identifying visits to a location, it's people who enter the blueprinted area, the, the green, the store itself. Um, but when we, how we track a visit is when the mobile device, when we've served an ad to, two ways to do it. One is we serve an ad to a mobile device, that device enters the blueprint. We've tracked that as a visit that was driven after having been exposed to your ad. Um, the other way is we can create blueprints and then capture audiences that are going to these places, populate different segments that you can use for targeting. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute as well. And each of these um, that you see in store, on lot and retail area, can actually be used as targeting tactics within the platform as well. So on lot could be a last minute branding message before someone's going into a location. Retail areas, if people are strolling around and there might be other areas that they're interested in and you wanna bring them to your location. 
something like that. But that's how um, we do it. And then we actually go through a verification process of a visit to ensure that it truly is one. There has to be some dwell time at the location, for example. Um, so just knowing that that's a true visit that's actually being recorded. I keep going the wrong direction, I apologize. One thing that I wanted to bring to your attention as well, you can find this on growthtruth.com. And our team launched this about a month ago. And it's an ongoing visit tracker to these 12 different verticals. So very interesting to see. And when you're in this, you can um, change the dynamics of it from, you can change the timeline. Right now it shows through April 25th. Um, everything's based on an index that goes back to December 31st, so prior to the coronavirus and the impacts that it's had. So you can get a true read on the visits that are going to these individual verticals. And then you can also change the geography. So you can make it national, you can make it by region of the country as well. So that can give some interesting insight as to what's going on in the country when it comes to visits to these different locations. And like I said, this is accessible. Just go to groundtruth.com and you will find it there. And this is updated every one to two times a week um, on a rolling basis. So a valuable tool that, uh, that can be utilized in the, at groundtruth.com. I'd mentioned the audiences that we're populating that you can use for targeting. So from the blueprints that we've created, we're now tracking visits to these locations. We've created over 5 million blueprints throughout the country. So people that are going to these locations, we can populate audiences. We can put them into behaviors um, like auto intenders, for example, or luxury retail shoppers, or you can also target individual brands. Um, people who go to Starbucks, Home Depot, et cetera. And you can put location filters then around each of these as well. And I'll show you how that can be utilized for a couple of the different things that, a couple of different topics that we're gonna talk about here in a minute as well. Again, the wrong direction. And then in the platform, and some of you may already be aware of this, but we have really extensive reporting that gets really granular and detailed, not only from a geography standpoint, but if any of the individual audiences that you might be using as well, you'll see reporting on that as well. So again, really granular when it comes to the reporting and the information that you're able to obtain from any campaigns that are run. That's a quick overview on Ground Truth, our technology, what makes us unique in the marketplace. So let's jump in to one of our three topics today, the US Census. So the US Census uh, quick overview is held every 10 years. So it's really become an important tool for communities, towns, cities, states. Everyone is really highly motivated to have their citizens complete the census. And the reason why is what the final numbers will represent are impacting funds that they receive. It can be funds for the individual towns, for programs, school lunch programs, things like that. Um, and also even the funds that they receive for the states and the number of representatives that they will have as well. So it has a tremendous impact on the next 10 years. So people are highly motivated to have individuals filling out the census. The wrong direction. So, and within the census itself, so I used to think that, well, the census is basically like a congressional district. It's, it's the same, same number, 435 districts probably around the country. No, it's actually much more granular than that. In fact, the census is divided into what are called tracts. And there are over 75,000 census tracts throughout the country right now. What they do is they'll define a population up to 8,000. And when it goes over 8,000, they create a new track and then start and they start building again from there. So this is the state of Alabama. So there are many tracks throughout the states and throughout the country. And again, a high motivator for even local communities to make sure that their residents are filling out the census so that they're duly represented and getting the funds that they want, um, both nationally and locally. When it comes to 2020 opportunities, again, for the first time in 2020, you can actually complete the census online, all by phone or by mail. Uh, they used to, there was also another layer that was in-person visits where someone would come to, people would go to individual locations, but because of COVID-19, they've suspended that. And instead they've actually extended the deadline of the census to be completed to August 14th, which represents even more opportunity to, be get, um, to capture funds to help promote this. On the right side, I just pulled a couple, a few ads that I saw 
And you'll see the difference that it represents when people are trying to get people to fill out the census from individual states, Michigan or Wisconsin, to an individual city, to an initiative of a school lunch, to an individual county even. So people are really um, motivated to put money behind this. In fact, the state of California had set aside $100 million to support uh, people filling out and making sure that they complete the census. The state of Maryland, over $5 million. So, and those are just individual states. Um, here we see ads all the time for even the city of New York asking people to complete the census. So a lot of buckets of opportunity that are out there when it comes to, as it becomes very granular in terms of the census itself. And so far, as of April 15th, response rates are quite low. They're less than 50%, meaning that over the next three months to four months, motivation is going to be quite high for people to be making sure that the census is completed by their residents. Amazing that I can't learn how to do this. So when it comes to targeting tactics within Ground Truth, we have several that we can be utilized as a way to make sure to reach individuals to complete the census. One is custom blueprinting. So I'd mentioned blueprinting earlier and showed the example of a Walmart store, for example. We can also create custom blueprints for you and for your clients. So again, that's just connecting with your representative at Ground Truth. We can create a blueprint of the individual tracks themselves, for example, that can be targeted. Or you can also do a little bit broader geo-targeting, DMAs, states, cities, zip codes. And again, it's gonna depend on the type of client that you're working with and what their goals are when it comes to the census as well. Or geofences around certain locations. We also partner with a third party named Seltra where we can actually um, serve ads based on a user's preferred language that their phone is set to. So another layer, another dynamic when it comes to targeting the important audiences. I'd mentioned earlier about cross device. And so we're rolling out desktop to be able to reach the same individuals based on those key data points of where they are or where they've been across desktop. And then also connected TV and OTT. So we're excited about rolling those out as well. And as I mentioned, will be, those will be available at the beginning of June. So those are tactics that can be taken advantage of as well when it comes to the census. And then for creative execution, um, when we come to running ads in mobile apps, you can do banners. You can also run video as ad units as well. And we've seen tremendous success with clients who choose to do that. And then of course, when it comes to CTV and OTT, you can use video there as well. So that's the census. Let's talk about congressional districts as we get a little bit broader. So we have a key election, as you may be aware of in 2020, and um, recommend that it's gonna be a tremendous opportunity, um, again, both on a large scale and a much more granular scale as well. Um, spending begins wrapping up historically in June and really crescendos into late Q3 and early Q4. Um, just to give an idea of what we're talking about, in 2018, over $5.7 billion was spent just on congressional elections alone, and that was a non-presidential year. So only imagine the, um, the scope and the scale of what's coming, um, coming up in the second half of the year itself. Now, when it comes to a larger scale of political and the election itself, just to give you an idea, within the states, 33 of the 100 Senate seats are up for election, and 11 of the governors are up for election as well. And then, of course, in the House of Representatives, they serve two-year terms, so all 435 seats are up. Now, it gets more granular than that, because then within each state, you have upper chambers and lower chambers as well. So the local Senate um, and House of Representatives, and then even more granular than that, as individual cities and towns will be electing sheriffs for, we have a couple of actually sheriff campaigns running currently on the platform right now, but it gets even more granular than that. Then we have, then there are special initiatives. People that are looking to some, there are going to be special initiatives that are on pretty much every state ballot across the country, local to those individual states that people will be voting on. And there's will be supported with funds as well. So ground truth, what have we done? Well, again, going back to our blueprinting technology, we actually went in and mapped and blueprinted all 435 congressional districts throughout the country. So all of those are now blueprinted and available for targeting in the platform. 
Um, using our proprietary technology, we can determine a voter within the mapped areas. And it's really a truly efficient and effective way to execute both candidate and issue-based campaigns. So again, we blueprinted all of those individual districts that are available for targeting in the platform. Then to take it another step further, what we also did is that we've blueprinted the upper chamber and lower chamber districts in every state. So this represents over 6,000 individual districts that we've blueprinted within the states themselves that are also available for targeting. So now we're getting much more granular and giving you the capability of targeting um, individuals uh, based on individual elections that are being run in these locations as well. So again, using ground truth proprietary technology to blueprint these individual areas that you can then target. I cannot learn to do this, I'm so sorry. Um, so when it comes to the platform itself, how does this work? Well, you can just reach out to your local, your individual representative and your contact, what they're gonna do and tell them what you want. Do you want access to all 435 congressional districts or do you want access to the individual states and their districts? If you want it by state, you just have to identify which state or states you want access to. The reason why is because it's so much data and over the 6,000 files, um, it's a lot and it's gonna be much more efficient and effective to in, um, upload if the individual states to your account within the platform. And then when it's ready, you just target by audience and then where it says name um, or select your audiences, you'll be able to call up those individual audiences and set them and run a campaign as normal. You'll put in the creatives and run to, um, to those individual districts. So that's how you would set up a um, campaign. And again, just needing to connect with your local ground, with your, your local, your ground truth representative to requesting access and access will be given um, to your individual account or accounts. So um, when it comes to our capabilities, again, obviously we have the congressional districts that we've blueprinted that are available for targeting. And of course, proximity that you can utilize. And if there were custom blueprints for whatever reason that you wanted to use as well, we can create those. Um, audiences, you can use the first party data of audiences, maybe based on certain interests, things like that, um, that you can utilize within the platform. Third party data. So um, we have a uh, relationship with LiveRamp and they actually have data of voter registration by party, voting history, things like that. So through that third party data, we can actually overlay, bring that into ground truth, overlay that that you can use for targeting as well. Um, cross device, as I've mentioned, also the dynamic language offering through one of our partners, Seltra, and also the creative executions. So different layers, different types, again, broader and more granular that can be utilized from a political targeting standpoint as well. All right, so we've got through the tough stuff. Let's get to the fun part of tax season. Taxes, very exciting. Well, the deadline was extended, as you probably know, to July 15th. And then even beyond that, if people owe money, they can get an extension for another 90 days interest free. Uh, to pay that as well. So significant extension. Where the opportunities lie within that extension, of course, is procrastination. Who doesn't, you know, a lot of people, I'm included in that, procrastinating when it comes to doing the taxes. I'm gonna wait till the last possible minute. Um, but also the landscape, as we know, over the last six weeks or so has really changed significantly, not only for individuals, but small companies, sole proprietorships, et cetera. So that represents opportunities as well, because people are going to need assistance when it comes to this tax season year, um, because of all the different nuances that have been introduced over the last couple of months. This is interesting. So I had showed earlier about the visit tracker that we have on our platform that you can access through groundtruth.com. This just takes a look at um, tax center visits. So I think we have two or three tax centers represented here. Um, but the green line, the bright green line represents visits from 2020. And you'll see that at the beginning to mid-March even, it was really spiking over the year before. So that shows that there could be an area of opportunity as well, that more and more people are actually going to these individual locations for assistance on their taxes. 
Um, and if you speak to uh, your connection at Ground Truth, you can get some more updated information beyond this as well, um, beyond late March. But just an interesting statistic to show that it's really a dramatic difference and that more and more people are going to these locations. Now within Ground Truth, because we're tracking visits to individual locations, we have certain tools and one is an analytics tool. And I get a little carried away with Photoshop sometimes, so I'll apologize in advance for all the bells and whistles on the next slide, but please just try to focus on the data. You'll see that, for example, we can look at um, audience brand affinity. Where are the high likelihood that, um, that people actually are going to um, when they're going to, this is the more broad category of financial advisors. So people who go to financial advisors, where else are we seeing them going to? It's Pete's Coffee and Tea, Coffee Bean, Carvel, so interesting, Chase, Ralph's. Um, so these are all individual locations that people are going to in brands. Now, as I mentioned earlier, when targeting by audience, you can actually go in the platform and target these individual audiences if you want to as well. And you can narrow those audiences down and target by specific geography. It could be a zip code, city, state, DMA, et cetera. But just found that interesting that um, some of the things that popped when it comes to this information. And again, your uh, Ground Truth representative could pull some of this information as well for you. So then I decided, let's get a little more granular. This is financial advisors. Let's take a look at H&R Block and see, um, see what that looks like. Well, it's interesting, Peebles, apparel and accessories, goodies, electronics, save a lot food stores. These are the ones that pop that have a high affinity index. So you could either target the larger categories of apparel and accessories or even some of the individual brand names. But it's an interesting approach, an interesting way to, to layer on some additional targeting. When it comes to targeting within Ground Truth, we'll often recommend using multiple strategies simultaneously to really optimize and deliver a campaign and make it the most successful. So doing um, a specific geo target, for example, maybe a zip code, adding on an audience on top of that, for example, um, things like that. So putting in different layers and being able to, to target and finding different ways to reach key individuals. So as I mentioned, this information will be available as well um, after, after the call. So when it comes to tax targeting strategies, you can con looking to conquest competitors, also high likely visitors to competitors, and then even using the categories that we just uh, took a look at in terms of both larger from financial advisors to more granular of an HR block, for example, um, doing proximity targeting, steady state zip codes. Again, always custom blueprints, always an option that we can create a blueprint. Just so you know that when you look to have a custom blueprint created, um, different ways that you can do it, you can literally send um, a map or some sort of outline of the area that you want blueprinted. For our team, it will take 24 to 48 hours to have that turned around and blueprinted. So quite quick in terms of a turnaround. Um, cross device, and then of course also the different types of creative executions. Um, oops. So when it comes to ground truth, and we're gonna end a little bit earlier today, but um, the three key things when it comes to the census, to voting, and also for taxes, but it's really an important and unique year for all three, which lends itself to a lot of opportunities. Opportunities exist at scale on a much larger basis, but also when it gets to a much smaller regional and local basis as well. There are a lot of different opportunities that are gonna exist for all three of these particular categories. And then ground truth is we have multiple and varied capabilities and tactics, things that we've already done, like blueprinted all the different districts for targeting uh, for political offices can really be a valuable tool that can be added into any type of media mix that you're going to be using for your clients as well. So that is a summary of census voting and taxes and See if I still can't figure out how to do it the right direction. <laughs> um, let me know if you have, if there are any questions that um, come up, or like I said too, we can always, you can always share them with uh, the hotline or also with the individual contact that you have at Ground Truth as well. And it looks like we have a question, but I can't seem to open the question. So that's a hurdle. I apologize, but it's not letting me open it at the moment. Hmm. 
I'll try again. And if not, I'll send out answers to the questions that we do receive. So I apologize for that. But let me try again. No, it's not letting me open questions. I apologize. So what we'll do is make this available to you. And then any questions that come in uh, specifically to this webinar, make sure that uh, the answers are highlighted for everyone. And then you can also reach out to your key individuals um, that you are aware of at Ground Truth for um, questions as well. And yeah, so that's... Um, about it at the moment, but please reach out with questions. I apologize for not being able to find the, or being able to open the questions at the moment here. Um, Eric, I open up the chat and copy the question to you in the chat. Do you think you would be able to see the chat? Ah, let me see. A voice from beyond. As an agency, who would we target for census completion advertising? You can reach out to key individuals within the states, within, this, within individual towns and cities as well. So I would say any type of, um, any of the managers that are within those individual locations are gonna be key and even counties with the, the key people, um, the larger offices within the counties themselves. And that would be a good place to start because they're the ones that are gonna be holding the budgets. And as I mentioned, individual counties, individual chambers of commerce, things like that, are going to be um, are going to be ones that will be holding the purse strings that are going to be driving that initially as well. So those that would be a key place to start. And it's a great question. And let me look up because I think there'll be a couple other key ones that I can find, and I will send them to you as well. Um, because that's that's a great question. Then I should have been a little more prepared for that one. So um, I think that's all we have at the moment. But Again, thank you to everyone for joining us. We really appreciate it. Um, stay healthy, stay safe, and please reach out to any one of the contacts that you have at Ground Truth, and we look forward to connect. And please fill out the survey as well. We always love your feedback and guidance for additional topics too. So thank you again. Take care. Bye.